Hello, I'm Dean. I'm Jelma. And in this video, we're going to look a little bit more into 360. So 360 is a very, very big market area. It's becoming more and more popular. More and more users have smartphones and use YouTube as well. And now I understand we're also developing within 360 as well with this. Yeah. So Panasonic has introduced uh, recently a 360 camera, which uh, now we are using for this video as well. And uh, basically we have a camera head composed of uh, four small cameras, all of them very wide angle to, to make a panoramic picture. And this is connected uh, with five cables to a base station that produces the stitching output. Okay, stitching. So what does stitching exactly mean? The stitching is the composition of these four uh, small cameras. Uh, so produce a panoramic picture so that, uh, that it completes the 360 view that it's surrounding. Okay, so that means a lot of the work is done for you because we're yeah. taking the four videos and then we're putting it all together and it's processing it at the same time and how do we capture this uh, stitch? So there's the output of the processor is a 4K signal mm -hmm. uh, over HDMI so you can capture the signal with, with a 4K recorder. We are using an Atomos recorder for that for example in this video but you can use also a 4K switcher so you can, you can combine different cameras that makes sense. So if I wanted to manually adjust the camera, um, that's not automatic, how could I do that? So the camera can be accessed from a web browser like Google Chrome. Then you can adjust the stitching, but also the iris and the white balance of every individual camera. But I dare say that even in automatic mode, the, the camera is great. The stitching is almost done from the beginning. That sounds really great. So. I can also use things like uh, VR goggles as well. There are different ways of, of uh, having the 360 effect with uh, glasses or a different kind of glasses as well. So one of the popular uh, ways of, of uh, watching the 360 effect is in YouTube because the, the YouTube player supports the 360 viewing. So then for, for that application you need to encode the 4K signal uh, from the base station and to stream to YouTube with a 360 uh, code in that. That's great. Yeah. I think that really makes it a lot simpler. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.